Okay, what would Mothra really look like? She's a bug, so she's not gonna get that. Oh my god, this is not a world we should be living in. The most realistic part of Mothra are its connection to the psychic fairies. Hold on. Mothra is, you guessed it, a moth from Indonesia. It talks to tiny psychic twins. The same area of Homo floriensis. It wouldn't fit in your hand, but they could get, what is that? Oh, it's baby Mothra. If Mothra could walk the earth, it probably got nine feet long. Like the invertebrates Arthur Pleura or Jackie Lapterus. Giant larvae are not as cute as I thought they would be. What in God's green earth is that? It's like it's mean mugging me twice. With Without a prehistoric dense atmosphere, she wouldn't even be able to breathe. Mothra couldn't even land, unless it was on a skyscraper that she could throw herself off of. Flying insects didn't get that big, but for fun, imagine one of these guys attached to a hang glider. She'd fly around for as long as she could breathe. She wants to live longer, she's gonna have to start eating. When they can't get enough energy, moths do this thing called blood feeding. At nine feet in her larval state, without the giant flowers of her homeland, Mothra might have to start getting creative. I liked you better as a baby. If you're looking for energy, I have half a jar of M&M. <laughs>